everybody and what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Jamie V thanks for stopping by so in today's video I'm so excited I'm going to be reviewing the new Jaclyn Hill cosmetics blush and bronzer duos I got two of them and I think I got a highlighter too I don't exactly remember but I'm excited to just wear them and try them and let you guys know what I think about it so if you're excited to see my thoughts on these new products from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, then go ahead and keep watching. Woo! Okay, so, so I'm gonna start uh, the video off a little bit different, some little presets, if you will. Um, I bought these on my own, they are for my money, I'm not being paid, I'm not being sponsored. With that being said, these are going to be my honest opinion whether it be negative, whether it be positive, whatever it is, it's going to be my own thought and my own opinions. Now, I understand that there are an extreme amount of people who absolutely adore Jaclyn Hill. I also understand that there are extreme amount of people who dislike Jaclyn Hill, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave all of that aside. If you do not like anything negative or honesty about Jaclyn Hill and her products, then you might wanna click off the video. Uh, I won't badmouth her because I don't know her personally. She's never done anything to me. Um, and we don't talk scandals and drama on this channel. So if that's what you're here for, you could click off of this video. I know that a lot of people kind of stray away from reviewing or honestly reviewing these products sometimes because they're in fear that, you know, these two groups of people, the fans, the not fans, will kind of attack them. Um, and I don't care. This is my honest opinion. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. If I do like it, I'm going to tell you. If you're nasty, I will delete the comments. Like, it is what it is. Um, we don't play that here on this channel. Like, that's not our vibe. Everyone is welcome. Don't care who you're, you're a fan of. I don't care. That's not why we're here. We're here for the makeup. So, I'm hoping that I can help you guys just figure out how this formula is. Is it good? Is it worth the money you're paying for it? So, that is it. I just wanted to say that and put that out now before I get any craziness going on in the comments, okay? So if it's something negative, you hate her, you love her, you hate that someone doesn't like or does like, just, just stop, chill, calm down, calm down. All right, let's get into this makeup. Get into it. So first things first, I have two of the duos. I got the Sun Kissed and Bronze Moment, and then I got the Warm Flush and Golden Goddess. So this is the Unicarton, which I think is very pretty. I'm all about rose gold. You guys know that. I love it. And then these are just the colors of the stickers. They're not really, I mean, I never go off of the stickers just because they're never really close. Um, I will say they're kind of clunky. They're kind of clunky. I'll put the price across the screen of each item, but I do believe that these were $36 a piece. I also got the loose highlighter in Balm. I have one in a different from her original. I have High Volt from her original, and this one is Balm. So they're both the loose highlighter, right? Yeah. So and this comes in the newer package square sleek has the J on it which y'all know I love from when I, I did review her Valentine's Day collection I'll go ahead and put that up here I am pretty excited to try the liquid lipsticks uh, because I did like the liquid lipsticks that were in the Valentine's Day collection so I'm wondering if they're the same formula but so we'll do that in a second but I do love the new packaging this is pretty sleek too I won't lie I did like this but it's cute either way it is cute it's not like it got uglier so that's good so here it is this is the compartment I hope you're not being blinded by the light so it is very sleek it's black it has this golden J here it has Jaclyn here it tells you the two colors of the bronzer and the blush on the back and it is I will say it's pretty clunky and big but to be honest I don't carry these around with me so I don't care about that um if you don't have a lot of space you may not want to get like all of these because I think it's like seven or eight of them um they may take up quite a bit of space but it's not bad it does have a nice mirror in here which I love and then this is on the inside of it just so you can take a peek. Ooh, I do love it. I do, it's very, it is a very sleek looking package and presentation. So I'm super excited about that. I think this one is a tad darker. So it looks exactly the same on the outside. And then we have on the inside, I'm trying not to blind you. 
So I'm trying to think which one is, I thought Sunkissed was darker, but this one kind of seems a little weird. Um, so I'm going to show you both, but I will say the blushes in these two are kind of similar. The, the Sunkissed, no, the Warm Flush is a little bit more peach undertone, where the Sunkissed is a little bit more pinky. Um, and the Bronzer, Bronze Moment is a little more cool tone, where Golden Goddess is a little bit more warm tone. But they are, they're, they're pretty similar. <laughs> they're pretty similar in color, which is fine. I mean, hmm. I wouldn't say you probably need all of these with it being as similar as it is, but they do have different undertones. I will say that. Um, so we are going to swatch each one. So this one is Bronze Moment and also Sunkissed. And again, we're going to be putting them on our face. I just want to kind of give you guys a rough like look at what they are, but it's going to be hard to show you. But these are not as, I thought they were going to be darker. Oh, so these, I may have to get a darker set. They're, they're okay, um, but I just, I think I might have to get a darker set. It's just they looked so much darker on the swatches that I saw. That's okay. All right, so we're gonna swatch these, and these are lighter too, and I'm building them up so you guys, like, I am building them up. Just to make sure. So I do love this lighter color, but this bronzer is probably not going to work on me um, just because it is lighter. I didn't see any patchiness or anything like that. So that's good. So in the photo on her website where they swatch them, this photo right here, I'll probably pop it up so you can see it better on the screen and it's not turning. The colors that I chose seem to be much darker on the person that it swatched on than it actually is because the two that I picked I was like that's going to be perfect for my skin tone but now that I've actually swatched these I think that they're going to be way too light so I just wish that they would do more true true to color if if that makes sense true to color true to tone I don't know what I'm looking at so this one Warm Flush and Golden Goddess. I'm trying to see if it tells me what skin tone it's for. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, Warm Flush is a satin peach pink, which I did say I saw the peach in it for sure. Um, and the Golden Goddess is a light to medium with warm undertones. Fact, it's all fact. I don't know that I would say it's light to medium though. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Maybe it looks different on my skin. Um, and then Sunkissed is a satin petal pink with bronze moment, which is a medium with neutral undertone. So it's not cool tone. It's just more neutral. I don't know that I would say that that one is medium. So that's why I got that one because it did say it was medium and the other one was light to medium. I didn't want to get it too dark. Um, but you can build it up. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So the blush net weight is four grams. The bronzer net weight is five grams. And they, I'm just going to tell you the price instead of putting it across the screen. They are $36 for the bundle. And currently, I believe all but the Lilac one are sold out. Lilac Love is the only one available on her website. There might be more on Ulta. The one thing that I would say before I get into it, before I get into it, is I wish that they were singles. I know that is that's a personal preference um so I just wish they were singles because there's a lot of blushes I can wear where there's only like one to two bronzers that you know a skin cone a skin cone oh my god a skin tone could really wear uh like there is a deeper bronzer and blush duo and I could get away with wearing the blush but I could not get away with wearing the bronzer so I just hope that like later you know, she makes some singles. Jacqueline, if you're listening, if you're watching me, probably not. If you could make them singles, that'd be like the tits. I have several different brushes here I'm gonna try. So like if one doesn't pick it up the way I like it, then we can try with a different one. I have my mirror here. So I'm going in with the deeper tone, which is a bronzed moment. There, There is a little bit of fallout there. A little bit of fallout. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's not terrible not terrible and we're just gonna bronze up our cheeks oh that's not bad it definitely gives me some color it's darker than I thought on my skin isn't that strange okay okay and that's the color like on the brush too so it doesn't 
show like a lot of color on this brush but I don't know if you guys I'll probably zoom you in a little bit so you can see it I'm doing one half of my face by the way with one color and one half with the other so by the end I'll probably look silly but it is what it is it's for full review I do like this bronzer I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna go in with more of a like lighter less dense bronzing brush and I'm gonna give it a little tap because it is it, it has a lot of power whoa <laughs> okay I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm kind of a fan I'm kind of a, it's a little patchy I'm not gonna lie to you I am having a little bit of issues but I have dry skin and you guys know that you if you know you know if you're not new to my channel if you are new I do have dry skin so I'm gonna bronze out my nose oh, I think that this is actually perfect for me maybe one shade darker might be okay but this is definitely like a good winter one for me I feel like huh I'm just bronzing my nose I know it's weird it's suspicious so I'm gonna go under my chin with a straight brush just to give it a little little depth here on my chunky chunk chin mm. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> okay I kind of love it I'm not gonna lie and I thought I was gonna hate it I won't lie about that either um but I also kind of love this brush like that gave me such a chiseled like holla okay so we're gonna move to the next one I, I kind of love it I'm not gonna love you guys I'm not gonna I'm trying to be like very like it's nice it's okay but I kind of love it like it's a very just like it's so un it's uniquely different like I feel like I did have to build it but in a good way where like it's not just like bronzer you know what I mean because sometimes bronzer do be getting crazy okay so we're going into another brush clean and we're gonna go into the lighter color this time which is Golden Goddess. I don't think that this is gonna be my color. Again, it does have fallout, but I don't care about fallout just because it doesn't really mean a lot to me. Powders are gonna be powders. It is the way it is. Mm, so I, this one is definitely going to be a winter shade. You can see it for sure, but it is not as tan as the other one I like my bronzes to be tan so we're just going in and I'm just building that up I love this I'm so excited <laughs> I'm just glad because I've seen so many mixed reviews and I'm like please tell me I didn't just waste my money so you can definitely tell that there is a, a slight undertone difference I don't know that it's showing up as much as it did this brush is like flaking on my face it's not showing up as much as it does like in the pan but definitely this one is more of a neutral cool tone where this one is definitely more warm tone if you see that like orangey color coming out less um like contour bronze moment but it's definitely there and it's buildable it is buildable we're gonna mix her in the middle because we're not gonna have you know a weird looking freaking head this one is definitely a tad bit light for me but I, I have been able to build it up. I don't know if you can see it. Not as good as this. Like, this looks so good. I love this. I love that bronzer. I love it. I wish, like I said, I did get a shade darker. But, you know, that's on me. So, I went in and I cleaned this straight brush as much as I could. So, I can also put it on my chin. On my chin? Mm-hmm. Mm Still that, whoa, <laughs> I'm loving this brush. I just want y'all to know that. So going into more of a dense brush, I am able to get this color to really build. So I'm going to go in with a more fluffy brush like I did on the other side and just kind of floof that out. Floof it out. So if you see here, it is a little patchy. I don't know if that's showing up, but like right in this area... I'm missing bronzer but again it could be my skin so just take that with a grain of salt this is gonna be my color the warm bronze is that what it is no bronze moment is definitely gonna be my color this one's a little bit too light 
a little bit too warm I think I don't like cool cool tone but I don't like super super beachy warm fake tan orange um and that's what this vibe is giving me so I don't not here for that one all right so we're gonna go into blush I'm gonna go into the dark one first on the same side which is sun-kissed and I think this blush is gonna be beautiful and making sure double checking my brush is clean so the bright, oh, blah, blah. why does it give me such, such trouble? The blush does not have as much fallout. So, and I did, yes, this one. It's okay. Um, so this again is more of a personal preference. I think that most people will love this because it's definitely a buildable moment where for me like I'm like a blush fanatic okay I want I don't care if I look like Bobo the Clown okay I love blush and it makes me happy it is my happy place I like to put it all the way up here on my forehead <laughs> so I just wish I do wish that it was a little bit more pigmented, but I, it's definitely buildable. Like I have built it up. It's so, it's such a weird formula. I will say that it's kind of, it's just like a smooth, like silky, like it looks good. <laughs> okay. And it, it is darker in person than it is coming off on the monitor. So just keep that in mind as well. And look, there you can see that patch. So I don't know what's going on there with that. I will say, I do wish like it was kind of more like bam, but that again is a personal preference. Most people don't like that in blush. So if you like that subtle build up moment, yeah, this one is gonna be for you. So now I'm going in with that more peachy tone, warm flush. This one looks like it has a little bit more shimmer to it too. I just want to make sure I don't put it on the same side. Why is it like this blush is more pigmented than the darker one? Hmm. Like you see that? Like that popped on way more than this one did. It's a strange situation because I think that this blush is technically lighter. So, but yes, that's the blush I'm talking about. <laughs> I love it. You guys don't understand. I will blush my face to filth and not care. Okay? And not care. Not care at all what anyone thinks because I like it. I don't like the blush situation where people um, put it on their nose. It's personal preference. I love this blush. Okay, so it's so weird because like I love this blush but I love this bronzer so I'm kind of glad that I got them both. So just so you know. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Because like, do you know how traumatic experience it is as a YouTuber, beauty influencer, whatever the freak, okay? As a makeup lover, my hair is just gross. As a makeup lover, um, to buy something and to hear like negative things about it, it's kind of like, well, shit, I just wasted like all my money and now people are saying that it's not good and I'm just like, oh my god. So I'm just kind of like excited. I'm putting more blush on my face. Like you guys don't understand. Like I love, I love blush. It's, it's so, it's just beautiful. So we're gonna put these off to the side and we'll talk about this in a minute. Let's get into this bomb color. I'm so excited for this. The other one comes out much better. Jacqueline, go to the original packaging. I definitely thought this one was gonna be a little bit lighter of a color, but we'll go. I'm not even surprised because the other one, the High Vault, is so pigmented and I just put mine on my cheeks too. I like that a lot. So this does not surprise me at all. Like I'm not, I'm not at all surprised that this highlighter is so extra. Oh my God. I think I went, I think I did it too much. I think I did too much. I will say it doesn't. It doesn't come off on my skin as it does in here. This kind of looks like pinky, where this is very to champagne-y gold. Like, it's very pretty. I'm just... I'm just gonna highlight the chin. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my setting spray, and then we will be right back for my final thoughts. 
All right, guys. So for my final thoughts on the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics duos, uh, the highlighter, I'll just go over there quickly. I've used this highlighter before. I bought it when they first came out. Um, not this color though. I love these. They are very nice as you can see. Um, if you like loose highlighters, a lot of people don't, so it's it can get messy, but that's not what we're here for. However, it is a good product. Okay, so hear me out, hear me out. Do I like these? I do like these. I actually really, really do like these. Um, I wish that I did get more like kind of different shades, if that makes sense. So I got two pretty close together just because I was like, oh, this one might be too dark. So I got a lighter one where I wish I would have gotten this darker one and then like a deeper, darker one. Uh, I will have to get another one just because summertime I do get darker. So this, even the dark one may not be dark enough. I did love the application. I will not lie. I do have a couple little patchiness going over here. But again, I have dry skin. I get patchy with most powders, but I wish that it would just apply uh, more smoothly. I loved the blush. Like the blush was fantastic. Again, it does take a little bit more work, but it turned out like so you can control it so well. And looking in my mirror over there and looking in my mirror here and looking at my viewfinder, um, my monitor, it's just all very like it does look very just smooth and silky the only problem is looking here there there's not a big difference there's not a huge difference in these so I think that if you don't want to have like if you're collecting them then it's probably a good idea to buy them all but if you're really just trying to get them for a bronzing moment I would get a darker shade than you normally would and just get one uh I really do hope like I said she comes with singles because I would love to buy all of the blushes but I don't need all of the bronzers it's just a waste for me do you know what I mean to have a bronzer I'm never gonna use for $36 I don't think the price is bad you're getting a blush you're getting a bronzer but my main takeaway here is I would watch a lot of reviews, um, specifically find someone close to your skin tone. That way you can see more true to like color and how it is and just kind of watch a bunch of different ones. Don't just watch a bunch of people who love her. Don't just watch a bunch of people who hate her because I think you're going to wind up kind of like not really getting the information that you need. I think that they are very nice pro Like I'm looking at my face over there and I'm just like, <laughs> Hey girl. Like it just looks so satin and smooth and just like very radiant, if you will. Like it doesn't look very powdery. Like I look like the sun hit me. I haven't been outside in forever and it looks like the sun hit me. So another thing or the last thing that I would have to say is a plus for me. I like that they're, they're not sheer. I don't want to say they're sheer because they're not sheer, but they're very blendable and buildable. They're very like buttery smooth. Does that make sense? So when I go in with a, bl a bronzer usually, it kind of like, if you don't like knock it off and just like light handedly go in with it, you get like bronzer, okay? Where these I feel like are more, they're easier to work with, especially if you're newer into makeup or you're newer into bronzer. They're definitely a lot easier to work with because I was able to put like layers on to get it to where if I wanted to, I could probably go much darker. Um, but I was able to just build that coverage that I want where you don't get that a lot in bronzers. Um, I will say that you either get way too sheer and it won't build up or you're using half the pan or you get the other one where it's just like even if you dab in there you got an entire half a pound of blush or bronzer on your face uh, blush as well so I do like that they build up and they were easy to use and that's it guys I hope you liked this video I hope it was helpful for you if you liked it make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below and let me know if you have these what are your thoughts are you going to get them? Are you hesitant? Let me know all of the thoughts. Again, please keep it positive in my comments. If you don't like my review, that's fine. You can just thumbs down it and be on your way because any really nasty negative comments will be deleted. And just make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do six beauty videos every single week. You do not want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.